Freaking great song. Florida George Line Cruise. Anyway. Before you asking yourself, what the hell is this? Any guesses? Well, I remember. Oh, let me make sure the zoom's off today. Holy crap, that was ridiculous yesterday. If you got a close up to. I have to put it away from my face. Anyway, so. Um, I remember. Oh, I had it been about a year and a half ago. Um, when Musty won, he, uh, he showed me his setup on how he uh, uses chem dip and stuff like that. It's actually a pretty good design. If you have a carburetor that's got some really crazy gum up shit in there and it's pretty hard to clean, and you have to put in a bucket of chem dip in it, you know, it's not going to do all the greatest stuff in the world. Um, his invention was to uh, pretty much strap her onto a sander an orbital sander or some type of vibrating sander so it makes um, harmonic vibrations and it really gets off all the dirt and shit that's in your carburetor so that's why what I went ahead and did I had an old DeWalt uh, orbital sander and uh, dual action whatever the freak you want to call it ran the cord strung some strut trap all over the thing all over my vice and as you can see I got the sander mounted in the vice and that held that on and it seemed to work pretty good I'll flick it on real quick And it uh, really does do a pretty good job. I've done it before in the past, and it just works awesome. Uh, I've had the thing in there for about, I don't know, about a half hour. I guess I can pull it out, and we'll take a look at the carburetor. Um, the carburetor that's in here right now is that Yamaha Warrior carburetor. So I had some uh, technical difficulties with that thing last night. Uh, one was the, uh, the float. I, I made that video yesterday. Uh, let me uh, pause this real quick. I'll get back to you in a second once I'm done unwrapping this. Alright, so there we go. That's the sander I used, and there's the bucket of chem dip, just carbomatic curb cleaner. But anyway, so uh, yeah, so I had some problems last night with the curb reader uh, trying to get the pin out of that holds the float on. Um, that was a challenge and a half. Um, I read some of you guys' comments, and man, uh, I. I've dealt with some pretty stiff uh, carburetor sons of bitches before that wouldn't come out, and that I think was up there. Um, if I can find it, here it is. Yeah, this is the pin right here, and man, this thing was stuck right up in there. It was just unbelievable. Um, one thing you got to watch out for is when you're doing that. I'll take this Chinese carburetor for instance. Uh, these two prongs right here are very easy to snap and I've done it before with Tecumseh carburetors um, even some Briggs and Stratton carburetors just the little mechanism that holds the uh, it holds that needle in and man I snapped two of them off once before luckily this time I got lucky I kind of sort of put it in the vise and I really crimped down on it and man I ever so gingerly I did it and it finally came out I was like oh Jesus but um yeah, so let's take a quick little peek in here. Probably gonna let us sit in here for a little bit longer, but I'll pop it off of you guys just so you guys can see what I got going on. Let's see, we'll use some needle nose, I guess. Okay, there's the bowl. That definitely looks a little bit nicer. Looks almost like brand new, actually. Wow. Okay, let's get this guy out of here for a minute or two. Pop it right over there. This is my carburetor area. Okay, here is the creme de la creme. If we can get her out here. Come on. There it is. Yep. That already looks a shitload better. Oh, yeah. Still pretty dirty. Definitely looks a lot better on the inside. Let's flip it around real quick. Yeah, let me put this right on top of the pan. There we go. Yeah, that looks a lot better already. Looks a shitload better. A little dirty. Clean her up though. Definitely looks a lot better. Wow. 
Still, I'm, I'm unable to uh, get that jet out right there. So I think I'm gonna go with it. I'm hoping that this stuff here will clean it up enough where I can pretty much go with it. I'm hoping. Keyword is hope. But a lot of that time doesn't work. So yeah, I think I'm gonna let it sit in the curb bowl for the chem dip for a little bit longer. Um, still a little bit dirty, but should work for right now. Actually, let's flip that around. I only was able to get it in one way. How's that look? Oh yeah, it looks a lot better. Almost looks brand new. Get that guy back in there. How's this guy doing? Oh wow. That jet freed up. That wouldn't even come out before. So that's what I like about this stuff. Is it just makes life so simple. Like I am unscrewing this right now. Couldn't do it before. Because it was stuck. Come on, there it is. Boom. Nice. That guy right there. Look how dirty it is. Jeez Louise, see. There's a little bit of scoopness too. Definitely looks a boatload better. Come on, get in there. Probably should get a new bucket of chem dip someday. I usually go through about one bucket every year. So this one's going on about a year and a half. You do the math. Luckily this stuff's cheap, it's about like 40 bucks a can. This stuff right here is I'd say it's about 30 bucks a can. The good stuff is about 40 bucks a can. Uh, stuff at Walmart, the real chem dip stuff. I've noticed that stuff it doesn't really do a great job clean carbs out. Um, I like that stuff a lot better. It really penetrates it, not the one at Walmart. I mean, it maybe just because it's a little bit cheaper. Yeah, it gets the job done, but I'd rather spend the, uh, I think that stuff's like 35 bucks a can. Stuff at Walmart's 29 bucks a can. So, it does the job pretty good. You can get this stuff at like AutoZone and stuff like that. Comes with the basket. I kicked the basket somewhere in the small one. There it is. You can just put like little jets and stuff in there too. Uh, just did a tool review. Look out. Anyway, so that's what I got going on this morning. As you can see, the shop's a little cleaner. Shop's a shitload cleaner, actually. Ta da! Um, finished up that Craftsman L2 1000 yesterday. Also, had a little bit of time to work on this uh, steel chainsaw. Got the uh, stripped screw out of it. I don't know if I told you guys about that, but there was a strip, strip, yeah, there was a strip screw in there, and I was able to get it out yesterday, so that was pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good. So let's see what else the day brings us. Oh yeah, looking good. Hell yeah. You know, when the thing, when the day this thing leaves, not only am I going to be jumping up and down because it's gone, I'm going to be getting paid a lot. Oh yeah. This guy is almost up to. Well, he's actually already up to four hours. Getting ready to go on to five hours now. Yeah, fucking right. So, as you can see, it looks a little bit different, a little bit cleaner. I uh, just pulled her out of the chem dip. It's now 350 something or other. I don't know where my phone is. I think I might have left it in the house. Son of a bitch. Yep, that's where I left it. Anyway, 350 something or other. Um, actually, just pulled it out about an hour ago. Actually, I had to go to Home Depot. I'll explain a little bit more of that in about a minute. Um, so, I got this whole thing. Finally done. Uh, I'm still unable to get this one jet out. I think I'm gonna go with it. It's just a pilot jet. I'm not really sure what the hell that means. One of them, sure you guys will know. But I'm not even really even sure where that jet goes. I have a feeling. I looked up the on the Yamaha. Son of a bitch, there. Jet goes through there and looks like that's part of it right there. But this piece right here is blocked off, so I don't know. I thought this was gonna be a part of it. I guess not. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna reassemble it, and we're gonna take it from there. If it still doesn't run right, then we know that's gonna be the problem. And this is gonna have to ship gonna have to be shipped out to my uncle. So he can have a better look at it and probably get that jet out and have to replace it as well. I was looking in the goodie bag here that they sent me. Uh, there isn't one of those jets in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it safe, be good with it, and uh, go with it, you know. So this is gonna get start reassembled pretty damn shortly. Uh, I mean as you can tell, ooh, that's a little hot. I was actually heating it up a little bit, but as you can tell, a little bit cleaner looking. 
Looks a little bit more healthy too, you know. Made in Japan, yippee. So, looks a little bit better. But, um, yeah, so, I went to Home Depot and uh, my power washer one yesterday busted off. And, uh, yeah, wasn't a good sign. I was in the middle of power washing that green LT1000 and that snapped off on me. So, I had to go to Home Depot and grab a new wand for the uh, another wand, but the handle part where you press it, you know, and water shoots out of the wand part. Um, so, I had to get one of those, and that was actually why I was there. I was like, all right, what the hell? Might as well grab one of the brass craft fittings. I grabbed a brass craft fitting along with a quick connect so I could try and test out that Honda power washer with that big pump on it, the big Comet pump on it. Holy shit, guys. That thing fucking works. And that thing's got some balls, too. Wow. I only had it up to, um, I think it was like 4,000 PSI, and there's still another, uh, I think it goes up to 5,000 or 6,000. That thing's got some balls. I'm afraid to put one of these red tips on. One of these red tips here is a very, very, very fine tip, and I bet you if I put this thing on, it would probably blast a hole in through a friggin' probably one of the streets. I don't know, probably dent one of the vehicles. So, I got it working, and I'm actually thinking about selling it. Reason being is, I don't really need that big of a power washer. That thing's friggin' massive. I like my small one, I should sell my small one. I don't know, I'll think about it, figure it out, but... Anyway, I'm gonna start uh, shortly, shortly soon, reassembling this thing so we can stick it back in that stupid thing. Oh yeah. And just like that, the carburetor is back together. Well, for you guys it is. That was a good 45 minute job. Yep. All back together now. Now it's time to stick it in this stupid thing. Oh, hopefully that uh, fixes the problem. If not, I'm gonna do the next thing, is uh, check that exhaust valve. It's sticking out right there. Cause uh, if this thing don't fire, yeah, the owner ain't gonna be too happy, and neither am I. Yep, so luckily uh, we got her pretty much all bolted back together, which I just realized something. Yep, yeah, that's right. We're gonna do that thing. Uh, yeah, we do. We're gonna put that screw in there. Oops. We didn't do that. Gas would be leaking out if we were, so I guess we're not done. We still get that one little screw to put in. Son of a bitch. Anyway, you guys get the idea. We're almost there. Awesome. Spider. Well guys, it runs. Finally. Runs a shitload better than the first day I heard it. That's for damn sure. Wow. Well, as you just heard, we got it running. It sounded pretty good actually. It needs a little bit of carb tuning, uh, a little bit with the idle. So we'll go ahead and fix that guy up, and uh, I think it's a done deal for today, I'd say. I think tomorrow we'll finish adjusting the carburetor, throw a little more gas in her, throw all the plastics back on, and uh, take her for a rip around the block, I'd say. Awesome. Looking pretty good, guys. I started to get nervous there, uh, thinking I was turning the last screw there, and I was like, oh, I hope this thing fucking fires up, because if I have to rip this carburetor apart, I'm going to be pretty pissed, so surprisingly, it fired up. Definitely uh, has not been running in a long time, but I think tomorrow we'll finish this guy up, change the oil in it, probably throw in some new, pl new plug in it, and, uh, you know, just figure up some of the maintenance shit. Still get a Put a battery in it and a few other things, but I think we're looking pretty good. We're enough that uh, I think Dwayne will pick it up maybe 
this week and uh, get paid by the end of the week. That'd be pretty nice for a change. That'd actually be really nice. So, anyway, guys, we're gonna call our day. Now that I know that this thing runs, I can leave a little bit of stress off me. And uh, yeah, awesome. It's all back together, and I didn't see any leaks either, so that's a good thing. All the gasket up. I spoke too soon. Just saw that drip. Son of a bitch. Yep, I think I knew that guy was gonna friggin' leak. I knew it was. We'll go ahead and shut the fuel off for tonight. But, um, yeah. Gonna have to probably put a new gasket on that little screw there. New O-ring probably didn't seat right. Yep, no big deal. We'll get her fixed up eventually. Still a little bit more work to do. We're still gonna, you know, put the battery in it. Plastics on it. Melted tail light, I guess. I don't know. This thing's a piece of shit. Anyway, guys, we'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Until then, don't buy a piece of shit. I feel bad whoever's gonna buy this thing. It sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Fuck.